What I wanted to talk about today was a little project I've been working on. During the summer while it's warm, I'd like a little airflow in my bedroom while I'm sleeping, but the problem is I'm a relatively light sleeper, so those box fans or those standing room fans that are typical are a bit too noisy for my liking. Because I'm not looking for a massive amount of air to blow around, I just want a light breeze, I decided to try something that involved a quiet computer fan. What you see here is a 20 centimeter Noctua fan, and this is one of the four pin fan varieties, which means that besides 12 volt input, it has a tachometer output, and it also has a PWM input to control the fan speed. I thought about taking one of these fans and controlling it with an Arduino with a temperature sensor. That way, the fan speed would actually be relative to the temperature in my bedroom, and as it cooled off during the night, the fan would slow down or actually just stop. And here's the project that I've come up with. What you see here on these breadboards is, first you have a 2.1 millimeter power input, this is for 12 volts. You then have a voltage regulator that takes the 12 volts and converts it down to 5 volts that runs the electronics. You have a DHT22 temperature sensor here for temperature sensing, along with humidity, but I'm not using that right now. And you have a clone Arduino Pro mini board here. There are three buttons that are used for the user interface, and you have an LCD screen to show you what's going on. The fan is connected directly to the 12 volt rail, and this wire is the 25 megahertz PWM input that comes from the microcontroller to control the fan speed. Normally an Arduino doesn't easily generate 25 kilohertz, which is what this fan needs, but I was able to adjust it in software, and I'll show you how in a minute. So I have a power supply temporarily connected right here, and let's turn it on. I'm using the EEPROM on the Arduino here to control the fan speed. So as you can see, it booted up right away and it read the EEPROM, and it's showing the fan speed in percentage, and then it's showing the current temperature, which is 67.8 Fahrenheit, and the current humidity. The flashing arrow just indicates that the software is running. As you can see, the fan speed is just slowly decreasing. I'm purposely doing that because I find that these temperature sensors can change in sort of dramatic amounts. As you saw there, it changed almost by one degree. And if you have the fan speed set to a much faster ramp speed, you'll actually hear the fan spin up, spin down, spin up, spin down as the sensor is on the threshold between two temperatures. Now if we wait, you'll see the fan will actually come to a complete stop. This particular Noctua fan actually has the capability to come to complete stop, but as far as I understand, not all fans that are PWM input actually have that ability, so your mileage may vary there. But as you can see, even though it says stop, we still have the flashing arrow as an indicator to say that this software is still running. If I push the right most button here, it goes into the fan control menu. You can push the left button to go back to run, or I can push this button to go to setup. And essentially this takes us through all the various parameters that are inside the microcontroller. This is the fan low speed. So fan speed is 0 to 79, and those numbers are just the way that the formula works out for doing the pulse switch on modulation on this Arduino, but 0 being stopped and 79 being 100% duty cycle. So the low speed is currently set for 10. If I hit next, the low temperature currently is set to 67. Anytime the temperature drops below the set temperature, then your low speed setting will take effect. If I set it for 0, then the fan comes to a complete stop. The high speed is set to 79 right now, which as I said before was 100% duty cycle. And the high temperature is set for 77. So any temperature at 77 or higher in my bedroom will run the fan at 100%. But I can adjust this threshold up and down by pushing the plus and minus buttons here. And of course, if I have the fan maximum speed set to less than maximum, then anytime it goes to 77 or higher, in this case, it will run at the set speed. The next option is the sensor calibration setting, and it just allows me to add a plus or minus offset to the temperature readings. In case the particular sensor I'm using is not very accurate, I can add an offset in right here in the menus. And the next one is the speed change multiplier. So this is the ramp speed. So it's currently just set to one, which means that each time it loops, it will just adjust the fan speed down by one. But if I set this to say three, then it multiplies by three and it does a step of three every time. And the last one you have is save settings, save and discard. If I hit save, it will save all the settings we've just configured into the EEPROM. Or if I hit discard, just reload to the EEPROM with the previous values. But hitting save, like I did here, says saving to EEPROM done. And that means if I power cycle, here we go, I'm going to power cycle it. All the EEPROM settings are read at boot time, which will ensure that you go back to where you were. If I push the leftmost button here while I'm in the run mode, it toggles the backlight on and off. And if I push the middle button, 
it stops the fan entirely and it will stay that way until I turn it back on by pushing the middle button. And I do save the settings after you toggle the, these two settings. So here the backlight is on. If I turn this off and I turn it back on, you see the backlight stays on. From a wiring perspective, there's really nothing to this. I am not doing anything special other than just what you would see in any kind of Arduino tutorial. With my particular implementation, all of these buttons are normally low, and when you push them, you get a high input on the, on the Arduino pins here. And I'm using I squared C to run the LCD. It's one of those very dirt cheap LCD modules with an I squared C adapter added onto the back. I got all of these parts from eBay, and they were all extremely inexpensive. Check the description of this video for a link to the source code, but I'm just going to show you a quick trick on this thing on how to generate the signal needed to run the fan. Lucky for me when I started this project, I was able to find a post on a forum where someone had already done the work to figure out exactly how to get the Arduino to output a 25 kilohertz square wave. And the duty cycle does need to change at that frequency so the fan can change its speed. To set the speed, you just adjust this one parameter here, 79 being the maximum for 100% duty cycle. That's all there is to it. The next thing I'm going to do after this is I'm going to install this circuit onto a Vera board and then I'm going to put it inside a project box, properly mounting the LCD and putting some actual buttons on it. What I may also do is hook up more than one fan to it. You can easily drive multiple PWM inputs of the fans from the same unit here. So I may just get like two more of these fans here and have a nice little wall of air with adjustable speed. Anyways, if you found any of this helpful, I might appreciate a thumbs up. Otherwise, uh, put your comments and questions in the comment section below. And thanks for watching. I, I appreciate it. All right. Bye.